Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if you could break the train of build a boat and put anything you want inside. But sadly, no matter how hard I try to use my delete tool, I can only delete the blocks that I have placed. But you know what? What if you actually could do that? And that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be destroying the train with a giant freaking drill. <laughs> All right, now for the actual terrain breaker that I'm going to be building, I want to make sure that it is handheld. You know, how annoying would it be if every single time you wanted to, I don't know, destroy some terrain, that like move over some whole like, thing or something like that, it would just be super annoying. So we're going to be building hand mode. We're going to be going handheld mode. So the size itself cannot be like too, too big. But also, I don't want to be small. Because if it's small, man, like it's just going to look wimpy. So when I actually think about like what a, you know, terrain does, destroyer looks like think of a drill you know like one of those giant boards that goes to a wall so uh i think that's what i'm gonna try to build here but to be honest with you i have no idea exactly how i'm gonna be able to build that's already too big that seems about a good size thing but i want it to be quite long just because of you know if it's short it's just one look very weak and fragile <laughs> and now when we actually clone this around in a circle it should be perfect ah, wait i messed it up wait why does it look so bad what all right never mind i just completely messed up the map. That's more like, oh boy. Now, I'm pretty worried about making a, a circle, actually. A, is it a circle? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a traffic cone. <laughs> A traffic cone this small because actually building those shapes are some of the hardest in all of build, but also deadly perfect, pretty much. So yeah, I'm a little worried about doing this, but dude, I just gotta. It's gotta be handheld. All right, so there is my perfect little circle. Okay, now building a perfect circle is the easy part. What we're gonna be doing now, we gotta clone this whole thing over like this. Yes, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be selecting like two pieces like so, boom, boom, and then rotating them in by a certain amount. Now that's already too much. Like we gotta find the right amount here seven i think about 10 would be perfect please oh wait oh that actually looks perfect oh you know what i'm just gonna take that because that is pretty freaking close to what i need look at that come on all right we're gonna be doing that for all of them so it's gonna take a second oh my god wait 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 i messed up dude that is looking pretty clean <laughs> All right, now, I'd like to see if I can maybe get rid of, like, the lines in there. But honestly, it's already not that bad. Oh, dude. Okay, now, you might think this thing is way too big to hold handheld. And that's because pretty much everything here in the back is going to go. We only want this little top piece, which, in my opinion, is looking pretty freaking good. All right, now, I don't think I need any of this stuff in the back here anymore. But I'm just going to save it just in case because I'm a little bit worried about just completely getting rid of it. But there you go. That one will just live right there for now. <laughs> right now, for the actual tip, we could do something kind of cheeky and use... Oh, actually, wait, that is never going to fit. It is way too small. Okay, you know what? I'll just show you just for the entertainment. But yeah, it's just way too big. Um, <laughs> There's nothing left. I mean, in theory, it could look kind of cool. But yeah, this doesn't work. <laughs> Um, uh, so I guess this is gonna have to do for the tip. Now, one thing we are gonna have to figure out is exactly how to make a spiral that goes around because a drill has a little oof going around because, you know, what else, what else are you gonna be drilling with? And adding this is gonna be pretty difficult. Wait a second! I am so glad I did not delete that because I think this might be our ticket right here to our actual grooves. Th that's that, 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 that's the, the, the thing though. Wow, okay. Now, I think... We can just scale these to be the right side. Like so. Oh my goodness, dude! I think we found our grooves. I am so glad I didn't delete that. <laughs> because yeah, now they will actually also shrink down at the perfect exact angle as the other thing. So that way it's not gonna stand out as like being like a weird angle or anything. Like it'll just look right. Now, currently, obviously, we've just gotten a circle. We're gonna have to figure out how we make it not go in just a simple circle, but I think that's pretty easy. Oh, dude, okay. I'm so glad I kept that. <laughs> Have a peep at that, baby! That is looking pretty good. Also, the wood being that color is so weird. <laughs> That's better. All right, now to figure out exactly how I'm gonna make this go around all the way to the front, because that is honestly gonna be the most challenging part. I need a block inside of here that's... Okay, perfect scale. Take all the stuff, block last, clone it out of the way. Perfect. And now we're gonna have to, like, move this into a circle, like a spiral downward. So we have a bit of a separate building area. It's just gonna make things a lot easier to work. Wait, but with the 10 degree rotation. Oh, it gets really smooth, actually. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that! Okay, so I gotta try this out, right? Save, just to make sure. Right, we're gonna have to move all of this crap out of here. We don't need you anymore. There we go. Oh, dude. That is exactly what I was looking for. All right, now we gotta just do that all the way down, which... 
is going to take a little while. <laughs> All right, so I've actually finished doing the entire like spiral thing. And honestly, I got to say the first further it gets to the front, I kind of end up actually liking the look of the studs, like, the, you know, the, 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 the jump. So, you know what? I'm just going to try putting the whole thing on like this because I just want to see what it looks like. But before I do, I say because if I don't like it, I can then reverse it. <laughs> Here we go. Operation combine. Got a problem. There is still a thing there. Uh, delete that and just get rid of that entirely. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -da boom. Ba -da boom. Dude. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, on the nose. Dude, look at that. You know what? I might just leave it like that. I kind of like the way it looks. Because, yeah, the, the further these get to being closer together, as I can kind of demonstrate right here as i cannot demonstrate it's just gonna look like a bit of a jumbled up mess and here it looks almost like spiky which is kind of sick as well so i think we're gonna go with this one all right now i gotta put an end cap on it so uh let me do that real quick all right there's the end cap just gotta paint it the right color perfect now oh, dude i am already excited to see this entire thing spinning but sadly i can't make it spin quite yet because we literally have none of the things needed to actually make it spin so uh, i'm gonna save it right here I'll save yes I'm gonna get rid of all of the stuff that i don't I don't think we're gonna need it anymore. All right, so I added like a little bit of like a space thingy in between, right? Pretty much this right here is gonna be part of the actual handle. And as you can see, there's a gap in between and that part is gonna be part of the actual drill. But the way we're gonna be able to connect these is gonna be with a wheel. So we just gotta make sure to place it just right so that way, you know, everything actually works. We're gonna move this all the way off to the side. Yeah, we gotta make sure that it ends up in a spot where the wheel part, there you go. I think that will work. And then it goes invisible and we never see it again. Actually, we're gonna see it right now as we test this thing. Oh my god, dude, look at that! Oh my god, it's perfect! Come on, come on, wait, 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 let me... Ah, look at that! Okay, and actually, I think if I actually hide this... Yeah, as you can see, that part there is not spinning, so it's like a separate part of it all. Dude, that is so cool. That looks so trippy! All right, then, I think all we have left to do is actually building... Uh, I, like, I gotta reload this. Building the actual thing that we're gonna be holding this thing from. All right, dude, there... Here it is. Now we got somewhere to hold this thing. And I think I, all I have left to do is to just make sure that I actually get this set up so that we can obviously properly hold it. And also the part where we can destroy people, the world, and everything else. All right, now the way we're going to be able to do this, I mean, also we need to do this for the actual terrain uh, destroying part. It's got to be able to hold a gun. So I think if I sit down in a chair, okay, that's I'm a little far back, okay, a little further forward, a little far too far too far. Ah! All right, that is looking just about right. Now, Okay, I think the way it works, if you sit down and hold, and then, yeah, okay. You can actually keep holding the block there, and all we need to do is just simply place a block right there, like so. Boom, and that should hold. Just to make sure that we place this just right, because we want to make sure we're only touching the hand part. Okay, that should be perfect. Place that there. We make sure we don't delete it by painting it red. And on that block is where we're going to place our butter block. So, in theory, when I actually just place this right now, it should actually just, like, stick me. Yeah, there you go. Like, our hand is now attached to this thing, and I'm very glitched out. Uh, perfect. We need the wheel there just to make sure we can actually turn it on and off. Actually, before we do that, we're going to place a couple spike blocks just because if we can actually kill people, I would say it's a pretty nice feature. Right, so we're just going to clone this three times. And yeah, that right there actually... I don't think it is. I think the three spike blocks there should actually be more than plenty to pretty much kill anything almost instantaneously, especially with them moving as fast as they're going to be moving. So yeah, turn off collision on those. <laughs> Move the wheel in place. There it is. Make it invisible. We're going to need a, like an on and off switch somewhere. So big. I think we just place the lever here and we just always leave it on. <laughs> I'm gonna flick it. It should turn on now. All right, time for the part where we can actually destroy the terrain. <laughs> All right, now for this part of the glitch, we're gonna be doing an age old trick and I think it still works. I don't think they've patched it at any point. So we need a block. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to sit down, play something like a cake or a firework. I'm gonna go with a cake and we're gonna place a block on top like so. And then we grab a harpoon. I'm gonna grab this one. Actually, actually yeah, this boom. Okay, we make sure that this is not linked to that. And I think that is actually all we need for the glitch. All I need to make sure is actually we have the gun at ready because we need to hold a gun for this glitch as well. So boom, there we go. All right, there we go. We have our entire setup station ready. I think it's about time we try this out. <laughs> okay, sit down. Okay, bang! Done. Actually, wait, no, not done. Hold the gun. Okay, wait, actually, click the harpoon, hold the gun, shoot the gun. Boom, missed. Try it again. We keep trying this until we hit the gun. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, yeah, we got it. So pretty much the way you know you got it is if you start holding the gun and the harpoon booms towards you. As you can see right there, uh, harpoon is coming towards you. When I reset the gun, my hand is coming towards the gun. Okay, perfect. Got that glitch set up. Let me select all of this. Make it invisible. Collision off invisible. Transparency. Just make 
make it invisible. There you go. Boom. We sit down here. Bada bing. We don't have a hand right now. Okay, that's something I did not think about. The fact that we currently don't have a hand. <laughs> Maybe I could just move it in place, kind of. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I know! Oh my god, dude. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, all I think we have to do, because the harpoon is attached to the actual gun. So, if I grab some, like, a sword. Yeah, we can still hold it out. Perfect. Okay. Butter block. Boom! Yes! Unanchored. Okay, wait. Collision off, collision off, collision off! Oh my- Wait, did I just create a gold grinder? Oh, the mole! Bro, that's the weirdest gold grinder I think I've ever seen. Look at how quick we can go! Woo-hoo-hoo! Okay, uh, collision off, because it will turn into a big mess. Okay, now it's still a bit of a mess right now, but if we actually hold... There we go! We can actually hold it out. So we're gonna make the blue block invisible. Okay. <laughs> the block in here is, is, is a joke. No! The glue block link to the button! No! I lost the whole thing! Oh my god. Okay, we set it up again. Okay, by the way, when you actually shoot the, the gun, just wait, why is it not pulling it out? Okay, there you go. You make sure to shoot the barrel. Like so. Bang! There you go. There you go. You see? Yes. Alright, we're ready for the next step. Boom. Okay, unlink that. You do not want that to be linked to that. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we go! I think we got everything. Oh god, okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, dude. I think we're ready to do everything we can do. So we have the actual harpoon on top of our head right now, which is perfect. We have the gun that is attached to the harpoon, as you can see. When I hold that, it goes up there. But don't worry, when we hold the sword, we can actually hold out the thing. Still able to do that. Also, wait, I think we can actually also just grab something less ugly. Yeah, like the bow. I think the bow would look a lot better. Yeah, the bow would look way better. <laughs> get rid of the get rid of the sword. We don't need the sword. We'll just use the bow instead. So we got two options. We can hold it. Or we can put it up there. Now, <laughs> let me show you guys what is happening with the whole destroying the terrain part. So actually, currently, my harpoon is not fully invisible, so you guys can actually see what's happening. I just, bada boom, shoot terrain. Oh, cute. Okay, now I just select that thing, make it anchored, and then I just press eight. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing wrong? Oh, wait, okay. Okay, I remember now. I messed it up. I remembered uh, the wrong glitch. Okay, what you do is you actually shoot the terrain block like this. There is a block right here in the middle. We click that with our skill tool, and I think then we just, huh? Did I do something wrong? I think, oh, wait, maybe do you need to click the bubble and then press the click it? Okay, I they did not patch this, did they? They can't have! That's illegal! Okay, wait, I gotta figure this out before I, before I continue, because, dude, we, we, we don't have a drill without it! Okay, guys, I may or may not have just been the biggest moron ever. I think it just doesn't work when you're standing within your own plot. <laughs> Okay, let me fix it. All right, here we go. Time to try this out again properly this time. And actually, uh, make sure that we don't mess it up. And we're outside of our plot. Apparently, this just doesn't quite work when you're inside of the plot. But hey, look at this. We, we, we got a freaking huge drill. Let's see. By the way, I think you can actually destroy things from in the plot. But just you got to be outside the plot while you do it. So, all right, here we go. So, harpoon, whatever I want to destroy. Skill tool, click, and then hold on. Bang! Woo! Dude! We, uh, we just destroyed a little something with our drill. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ding, 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 ding. Zing. Who wants to mess with this guy, huh? Wait, why is it not spinning? Did I forget to click the lever? <laughs> well, anyway. Okay, so I think the wheel's broken because of the harpoon. Even when I mess up the box, it won't turn on. But when I delete the harpoon... Oh, it also doesn't just... Ah! Okay, you know what? We we know we can destroy terrain. Let's just go all this one for now. Oh, I got the drilling fixed. I got the drilling fixed. <laughs> Dude, we look so freaking scary right now. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to kill some people, break some things, dude. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> wait, actually move the move terrain. That's the real question. Place it right there. Oh wait, wait, did my harpoon just go straight through it? But I think it did. Oh yeah, you cannot move it again. It, it just went completely straight through. There is someone on the red team. I will just take your wall if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, 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 we're glitching out here. What's heck? Oh wait, I don't have a dude. I forgot to put on wings. I'm an idiot. You know what? I'll here. Boom. Select a block, and then we just press eight. Bang. <laughs> Yeah, boy! Okay, now, I think the actual spinning from the drill is definitely confusing things a little bit. But, dude, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's making me spin in circles. <laughs> Turn on PvP and find out! All right. Oh, my God! Dude, we just literally melted him, man. And just boom, boom, done. Like, move terrain. That is how easy it is. Come on, man. That's pretty cool. Although we, we are also a bit of a confusing mess. Come here, boy. Wow, that is dangerous. No, it's not. Come here. Come here, man. Not dangerous at all. Oh, when we actually jump, we do like a weird, weird little hop. Like, maybe we can speed up a little bit. <laughs> you build seems a bit heavy. <laughs> maybe a little. Got him. Dude, this thing is so cool. <laughs> 
we got him. Let's go. All right, now we should be actually able to destroy any builds as well. All right, we have a little build on the blue team. Somebody's loading something big on the yellow team. Oh, we got a block here to destroy. Come here, boy. No, guys, because of the actual, uh, you know. Wait why, is, wait, why is it not spinning anymore? It stopped spinning. Okay, well, it's not very quick now because it's no longer spinning. But in theory, this would destroy things very quickly. <laughs> Just come here for a second. <laughs> Don't doubt me for a second. <laughs> Look at that. We're destroying things. Bada boom. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Destroy this freaking thing already, bro. They literally grabbed the strongest block in the game. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dude, I am just destroying this dude. Oh, my God. Knock it off. Bro, this copy. Is this a copy bar? I don't know what this is. It's like a dog. Uh oh. That's a stinky. Get rid of this thing immediately. Get rid of this thing immediately. Get this off my screen, man. Oh, God. It went into the wall. <laughs> oh, my God. 